Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Activities. And today's activity is going to be the Skylander Giants Jumbo Puzzle Eraser Kit from our new good friends at Puzzle Eraser brand collectible erasers. <laughs> and it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. Uh, it's 6 plus, so make sure you get five of your friends to watch this video with you. And this is what we're going to be building, this big robot out of little tiny pieces of erasers. So tiny that they are, yes, choking hazards. And uh, hey, collect all three jumble puzzle erasers, because we all need goals in life, right? Let's quickly take a look at the packaging. These are the other puzzle racers you could get. Here's the uh, Tree Rex, and I guess that's a wooden dinosaur. This is the one we're going to be building, Crusher, which I believe uh, I believe he fought with Bugs Bunny uh, in an old cartoon. And here's the one I wish I had, Swarm, the little uh, buggy-looking guy with the antennas and stuff. But before we start, we have to read all of the uh, warnings, etc., because otherwise it just wouldn't be responsible. And it's not just a choking hazard. This package comes with a set of special warnings I really need to share with you for the sake of, let's say, legality. Uh, first, this product is not a toy. That's right, this product is not a toy. This is a serious stationary tool. This is a device. This is actually a, uh, a robot. So I guess it is not a toy. Why would you possibly think this is a toy? I got this, by the way, in the toy section of the local drugstore. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Okay. Color and content may vary from shown. Well, that's fair enough. I don't expect it to look exactly like that. Uh, please retain this package for future reference, such as whether you want to find out whether or not this is actually a toy when you try to have fun with it. Uh, please remove packaging attachments before giving to a child. So yeah, if there are any uh, big security tags or uh, ravenous raccoons hanging on to this, attached to this, uh, Make sure you remove them before giving them to a child. Oh, also there's this code right here. If you can read that, you can go to the website and do something with it. Yes, the Skylanders Giants website. So, uh, I'm not going to use the timer today because this seems, from the way the bag is, that it's going to be too difficult to do in a timely manner. So, I'm just going to do my best and uh, put this together in front of your eyes. So let's open up the packaging and destroy its collectible value. Mm -hmm. Gotta figure out the easy way to do this. There we go. So first let's remove these parts. Can't be that many. It was a $3 item. I don't know how many. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay. Seems to be some stuff. And that's an arm, I guess, and a, uh, this is another arm. Well, I guess this is the hammer, or the hammer fist. Uh, oh, that's the hammer. That's the other hammer. I didn't look at this picture very closely. That's his, um, spine, I guess, is what that is. Uh, his other arm, and... That's it. The package is empty, so there's no instructions. It's a puzzle. I'm going to do my best to put it together. If it gets a little boring, we'll just time-lapse it. So let's go. Here's his body. Here is an arm. This is going over what I already said. These are the arms right here. See, I can't tell which is the left or the right. Let's look at the packaging here. It looks like he's punching forward with his left hand. So, I'm guessing that's this one, right? I don't know. Let's see what happens if I put this one here. Is that, or does that look better over with the, oh boy. Um, this goes over in the, okay, there are these little like rubber tabs that go into the little rubber holes. And I'm supposed to just kind of put them in and, and make this happen. Wait, this looks right. This looks kind of right. So just 
you would think it would go in easier, but no, it's a puzzle. So it's only going to go in when it's right. Um, okay, so I am noticing now that, okay, this must be his, is this his head? Is this somehow, some way, his, the crusher's head? No. Wait, I know. We should be starting with this. We should be starting with his spine, as that is the central basis of his skeletal system. It is important that we start with this. Let's put it into this hole. There we go. And um, this hole. Uh, this hole? Running out of holes here, people. I, I guess. And is there a thing to put around this? Is this like a gasket or... Okay. Hmm. So, let's just review the pieces real quick. They're rubbery, they're nice, they're fun, they're really tough to put together if you're not quite sure how. I was really hoping for instructions this time, though I may have ignored them at first. I definitely would have been opening them up by now. Let's see here. That goes... Wait! I got an arm in. There's an arm. Yes. Okay. Which means that this is the other arm. So, the other arm, like that. That's right, folks. This is so easy. A six-year-old child could do it. Unfortunately for you, I don't have a six-year-old child here. You have to watch me. Oh, boy. Um... Why is it that it doesn't look like that fits in? Well, let's look again at the packaging. In the right arm, I see what he's got here. Okay, first of all, I figured out this much. I think. I think I figured this out. Come on, don't embarrass me, please. Pieces of rubber, okay is that this is the hammer. It is not his spine. That is his hammer. It goes over his shoulder like that. So now we just got to put this into his hand. So it has to be in the right position for that. That would be like this, I guess. Hmm. You know, I... I you would think that somehow these, the, the size of this hole would match the shape of this peg, but it only vaguely kind of seems to do that. They're really not the best formed parts of this not particularly well formed puzzle. And thus, I'm not exactly sure how to get it in. Also, you would expect that um, pieces of this part would match up so that it would be consistent with what it's attaching to so that okay, you could actually look at it and match up the pieces. So, again, it has to it has to match up with this. I'm still not sure what this is. I still think this might be the head. Um, wait. Uh, no. Get in there. Sorry I'm not speaking, but I'm actually baffled by this. It's really... Uh, it started off difficult, and I, I felt like when I put actually put some pieces together, I was getting some, and now here I am challenged by this child's toy, humiliated in front of my video audience. <laughs> Unless you've seen my other videos, in which case, it's, you know it's just par for the course. All right, so we have got arm number two in. So if we can just put the head in like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get through this stinking video. Oh boy. So, here we go. And that goes in there. <laughs> they were not kidding. This is not a toy. All right. And ta-da. No, wait. Hold off on that ta-da for one moment. 
One moment only, please. Oh boy. Get in. Come on. You lousy piece of rubber. And it's good enough. All right, that's that's it. You know what? That's all I'm gonna do. It, it's it just it's a pain in the butt. And uh, let's just do a clip cut right now. We'll jump cut, and we'll see it actually done. And we're back. And this is the best I can do. And let me explain to you why. When they say that the contents may be different than the packaging, they weren't kidding. Okay, first of all. There were two arms, right? But apparently they were both left arms. And then what I thought was the head was actually the right arm. And there's no head. They did not send me a head. Uh, so this is basically all I can do. Here's the other thing that I want to point out is that, I don't know if you can see that in there, you probably cannot, but inside these little holes, there are rubber seams. It was so poorly milled that there's actually things obstructing putting little pegs in. So this thing is just a disaster. Uh, the only thing I have to wonder is, can it even erase pencil? Let's find out. Here's a piece of paper. And we'll just, uh, here's a pencil, sharp enough for our purposes. And I'll just uh, draw a little happy face to represent what it is I thought my face would look like after I played with this toy, but I need to erase the smile and turn it into a frown, so I'm going to use my nifty eraser, not a toy. And see, does it erase pencil? There goes my pencil. Yes, it made the pencil disappear. Uh, and the pencil marks? I'll tell you what. It's a pretty good eraser. It is a terrible toy. The warning is correct. This is not a toy. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe or like buttons. And there's all kinds of crap you can do on this page. And there's all kinds of other videos you can look at um, all over my channel. So I hope you do. And I hope you come back to the next video. There'll be more crap like this. <laughs> Have a good time. It's Reverend Jay Goldstein. Take care. Wait a minute, wait a minute, there's more. Hold on, hold on, one second. Uh, I was looking at the wrong side of the package to see how to form this puzzle, and whereas it looks like he's punching with this fist here, uh, actually, the way he's supposed to be posed is the way on the back of the packaging, and that I was actually able to do. I was actually able to make him do that. Uh, to some degree. It's still kind of falling apart because the pieces aren't particularly well milled. And he's got a second arm for a head. But, uh, hey, see you next time.